Hey there guys, I am the Six Machine and welcome back to another Warhammer video. So we had the big exciting bit of news that GW promised us. They have given us an exclusive first look, unbelievably awesome codex roadmap. Wait, wait, what do you mean? Oh, so this roadmap. I mean, let's start with the good stuff. We do now have confirmation that the Orcs are indeed coming in September, so if you didn't manage to get your hands on the Beast Naggers box, it won't be a huge, huge wait for you to grab the Codex, and hopefully some of the new models and kits will be coming along with it. And although we knew it was coming, we didn't have a date, so it does seem as though November is going to be the month for the Black Templars release, and as we saw in their recent showcase of the Emperor's Champion, I am personally expecting a good few awesome new models, and I believe there's also mention of a box set coming for them as well, so perhaps some kind of Sisters of Battle style new army splash release box, which is really cool, I have to admit. I do love the Black Templars, I'm glad the Orcs finally have a solid release date, so that is a good couple of things to look forward to. And on top of that, what this also means if you are savvy is that October is suspiciously absent of a 40k codex, so whether this means there will be a big Age of Sigmar push that month, or as we have all heard by now and seen the rumours going around, that the brand new Heresy box set will be coming that month, we will have to wait and see. Personally, I do kind of hope it's heresy, and especially with the leaks coming out a few months ago now, I think, I could see the case for them bringing that up quite a good chunk and fitting it into that October slot. But equally, with the relatively recent Age of Sigma release of Dominion, I could also see it being dedicated to a load of new big Age of Sigma releases. We will just have to wait and see, but either way, it does look like there is going to be something not 40k related coming in October. But aside from those little bits of news, this article was really pointless, to be honest. As you can see, we have the two redacted codexes for December 2021, and the article does state that these will be brand new codexes for an Imperial and a Xenos faction, so that is news, I guess, technically? And I have heard rumours of it being a Custodes Gene Stealer cult box set kind of thing where you you where they're fighting each other but equally with Octarius in full swing along with the new Death Corps of Krieg models I could also see this being codexes for Tyranids and Astra Militarum. In either case I'm pretty confident that the new codex for the Imperium and the Xenos faction will be a mixture of one of these four factions for each of them so Custodes or Astra Militarum for the Imperial side and then Tyranids or Gene Stealer Cults for the Xenos Codex. And alongside the Codex, maybe they'll get some new models and a new kit, especially if it is a Custodes versus Gene Stealer Cult box set. I have heard that there will be a new Gene Stealer Cult, um, like Saboteur style model, and also a Custodes Lieutenant style model. But I mean, GW, come on. Why not just tell us? Why keep it a secret? Why do the whole redacted thing? I know, I know that there is the whole wanting to build hype and not showing your hand too early, but seriously, with all of the delays and the pushed back codexes and the late releases, 9th edition has honestly been quite abysmal for the codex release schedule that we are this far into the 9th edition lifespan and so many codexes haven't even had an update yet is really, really bad. And I know that's not your fault, there has been Covid, there is the Suez Canal, you know, delay, everything has been delayed and I get that, but why not at least tell us what's coming? People will still buy the Orc Codex or the Black Templars box even if they know that Tyranids or Custodes are coming in a month's time, I promise you, I promise you they will. People that like 40k quite often buy stuff that they really don't need. That's a big problem that I think we all have. So I guarantee you there will be plenty of people buying these new codexes, even if they have just bought the Black Templars box. And I mean, what makes this really annoying is that this was announced as a codex roadmap article. They really did hype it up as showing off what is coming for 40k. And this isn't a roadmap. It's two codexes which are already out, two that we knew were coming, and then just an announcement that, 
yeah, there's going to be more codexes after that. Well, big surprise, we knew that anyway. It's a complete non-article. And about the only solid piece of news we got is that, unfortunately for all the Chaos fans, there's not going to be anything until 2022. That was literally the only new, previously unknown bit of codex information that we got, that Chaos isn't getting a codex this year. It's just... Ugh, it's so annoying. GW have a horrible habit of building a load of hype for something and then it being just the absolute bare minimum of information. And yeah, don't get me wrong, it's nice to see a November date for Black Templars and that two codexes will be coming in December. And even that, yes, although you have to wait till 2022, Chaos will be getting a big year in 2022, getting a lot of new releases and possibly multiple codexes. But why keep everything so secretive? Why do a codex roadmap for 2021? Because that is what the article is titled, 2021 Codex Roadmap, and then not tell us who is getting a codex in 2021. It's just so ridiculously stupid. Ah, <sighs> in any case, in any case, I'm sorry. I am personally hoping for a brand new codex for Chaos and hopefully Chaos Knights and World Eaters in 2022. I would love them to do Empress Children as well, but I don't know if they will get all of that done next year. Empress Children may be coming in 2023 or something, but hopefully at the very least we will finally be getting two wound Chaos Marines because that's been on the cards for two years now. And I am also hoping to see Custodes and Tyranids in those two codexes in December, but my gut feeling is that it is going to be this Custodes Gene Stealer Colts box set. So I mean, yeah, if you're a fan of Custodes or, or Tyranids or Gene Stealer Colts, you do have stuff to look forward to in December. And if you're a fan of the Black Templars, obviously November looks like it's going to be a very good month for you. And likewise, if you're a fan of Horus Heresy, I think you might have a nice October as well. But honestly, this article really did just feel like a, a bit of a waste of time and a huge waste of player expectations. But that's just me. I'm going to stop complaining now. I just do like a good grumble when GW does something, in my opinion, really, really stupid like this. What do you think the codexes for December are going to be? Do you think it will be Custodes and Gene Sealer Cults, or do you think it will be Astra Militarum, or something completely different that I haven't mentioned at all? And also, I'd really love to know what you think will be filling the gap in October. Will it be Heresy? Will it be something Age of Sigma related? Or again, will it be something completely different that I haven't talked about? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe for more Warhammer content from me, but until next time, I will catch you later, guys.